Oh, what have you built? <laughs> oh, mate, please slow down a bit. Bro, look at this. Jump. We jump. Jumping again. Yes, bro, living the dream, are we? We're riding together again after quite some time. My name is Martin Ashton and I'm a paralysed mountain biker. It's crazy, but despite that disability, I still get to ride my bike, mainly thanks to my crazy, amazing friends. Now I'm on a mission to see where my riding can take me, and more importantly, who I can ride with. This is my random tandem, and it's time to welcome another friend aboard. Let's find out who we've got this time. Oh, no way. This is Rob Warner, a World Cup downhill race winner, the voice of the sport, and a lifelong friend of mine. <laughs> when you said I was going riding with you, I didn't I mean... I meant with me. Not on the site, not really, eh? Yeah. Really? What do you think? And I noticed you're up front. I'm up front, I got the bars, I got the brakes, <sighs> and you got the... You what got... have you built? And it amazing. Oh my god. I know bikes are getting longer, but yeah. you took the piss for that one. Why did you say yes to come in riding with a guy who paralysed himself riding? Because I thought I'd be on a separate bicycle <laughs> well away from you. Is this the start of a comeback? Should we, should we get back into it, dude? Hey? <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Are we actually going to go off? We're not going to go off-road on this contraption, are we? No, no, no. We won't go off. We're just going to go on fire road. Mate, Ooh. go on then. Go on. I can't steer you, mother... That's Dude. it, that's it. You've got it. You've Dude! Got it. Oh, that's lovely. That's, that's lovely. The power on. Is the power on? Yeah. I don't think it is. It is. It's got to be. That's lovely. Oh, hang on. I can put the seat up a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's better. Oh, there we are. Bro, look at this. It's easy. We're riding together again after quite <laughs> some time. <laughs> How does it feel when I do this? Don't do that. Well, you know, a bit of this. Well, Dad, this stop it! All right, I'll keep it straight. Oh, what idiot got me involved in this? I've got Rob Warner on the back, the voice, the very voice of mountain biking. Definitely one of the most famous downhillers at the, uh, in your heyday. Not from the results, mine, but yeah. Well, I know some results. <laughs> and you know how special all these riders are. So, what does that feel like? I like to think that I can definitely really respect what they're doing. Yeah. And like if I'm walking a track and I'll try and remember what it would have been like, I can put myself back on a ATX one and you know remember it's just that how hard they're going. Yeah. Yeah. On every square foot of that track. I can still put myself sort of back in their shoes a bit. Yeah. And that's probably why I can genuinely get as excited as I do, because I'm a fan, I like watching it. And I'll be honest with you, mate, I'd rather commentate on it than race it. This is <laughs> I way prefer being a commentator than a racer. Right, we're off. We're off. I right. did feel, I feel like, mate, I haven't felt this nervous since I dropped into a World Cup. <laughs> Steady on then, bro. <laughs> I keep going for the brakes, mate. Oh. What am I doing? Oh. I am. This is crazy. Dude. Oh, just, my God. Just chill a bit. All just right. chill a bit, dude. There's a jump. There's a jump. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at oh. these corners. Dude, stay, stay on. on. Stay on. Mate, oh. just take I'm, it easy, will you? I'm, I'm taking it easy. <laughs> Ow. How long ago do you think it was from I'm road stood up behind you, I don't know why. Oh my god, that was wicked. <laughs> ah. Yes. Is it better stood up or sat down? It's better stood up. Mate, you're going way too fast, mate. Oh, I don't you think I'm an idiot. Dude, you were an idiot when you were doing it for real. And now you've probably got even worse. <laughs> you just don't give a f anymore. Oh, mate. So, I'm oh, mate, mate, please slow down. I've got nothing to lose. Chill out. Dude. Now, just a bit. Just slow down a bit. Mate. Now, <laughs> what are you doing? Mate, that was free. Have you gone that fast before? Did you go extra fast? Just a bit. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> How did you get through those S bends? That was incredible. Um, why the moustache? Well, what do you think? Do you oh, like I, it? Actually, I think it looks pretty cool. Mate, do you want to know a little oh, bit really? of a story about it? Yes, definitely. Um, don't know if I should go public with this, but too late now. So, I was doing this series for Red Bull. Yeah. And uh, I flew to Columbia. And I hadn't met the film crew, right. any of them. I met them the night before. Beard. Hair, you know, it's an adventure show, so I thought I'd go a bit loose. Yeah. Long beard, long, longish hair, what's left of it. Anyway, that night we had a rest day the next day. I thought, 
I'll have a quick dye up, you know. Yeah. Get everything yeah. looking black and nice for the, for the show. But I must have changed brands or something. <laughs> I woke up at four o'clock in the morning. My lips, are, they're, 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 they're all like this. Like that. Oh my, my whole God. head was swollen up like a <laughs> berry. Oh no! I looked like you had an allergic reaction. Oh my God. To the you... point where I didn't know what to do. So I, I buzzed. I just got a bick and took the whole lot off. Oh my God. Yeah, and I had all blisters all over my boat race and it was horrendous. So the next morning I went down to breakfast and sat with them and they all looked at me like I was a stranger. They were like, who's this? A completely bald dude. So I've recovered to a moustache anyway. I've, I'm in the tash now, mate. The tash is going to be around for a bit. All right. Yeah, I love it. I love the tash. Now you sure you want to do this? No, I don't want to do it, do I? But I've got no control over it. Too what. late. Mate, just back it off a bit, eh? All right, backing it off. I'm just going to shut my eyes. Right, I'm shutting them. Shut your eyes. I'm shutting my eyes. It's, it's way better, dude. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's way worse. Whoa. What are you doing? Just slow know. down a bit. <laughs> I think we've got it, dude. What? Look at this bit. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, Whoa. get off the touch, Oh, mate. my God. I was... can't see a <laughs> thing back here. <laughs> Wait, we are... <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Do you enjoying this? Yeah, man, it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, it's true there. Chill out, bro. It's true there. I'm fucking up oh. again. I'm up again, man. There's a double. Dude. Oh, dude. Dude. You ever this got is, an app? This, 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 this is that. insane. <laughs> Look how fucking fast it is. Dude. Right. They're pedaling. They're pedaling. Right. Pedal, right, right, right. Pedal, pedal, pedal. 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 I can't, I'm not... That's good, that bit. Deckin. Just crank it, yeah. No, 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 I don't crank it. I back it off so I have a rest from the relentless torture of being uh. sat behind you on a tandem. Oh, yes. Mate. Well, it's rock top. Mate, chill a bit, please. Uh. You're good. You are good. I'm not doing anything except being terrified. I'm not doing this again, you know. <laughs> um, right, here we go. Right, Rob Warner at... Are you dabbing? You dickhead! <laughs> 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 I totally didn't know you got on. <laughs> that was <laughs> ridiculous. It felt so good to watch you disappear off into the distance. It was one of the greatest moments in my life waving goodbye to this setup. That was amazing. Let's do a big skid drop, ready? Here we go. You can still <laughs> skid. But trouble, yeah. trouble does follow you a bit, and I'm not, I'm not wrong about that. It, a lot of stories that people will tell in mountain biking start with. Well, Rob was there. You're, a, you're an instigator. Yeah. So I think you... I, I thought about this a lot. You'd be a really great policeman. Well, I've always wanted to take the law into my own hands. <laughs> Anything? Nothing yet. Uh, but it's only a matter of time. This is a busy stretch of uh, track that always delivers. Hang on, we got one. 47 kilometres an hour. I think we'll leave that one a special Rob. He's murder in this trail. I can hear one coming. I think this one's for us, Mark. Oh, this looks pitiful. 28 kilometers an hour. Let's go. Let's have him. Right, I'm down. Left hand down. I'm trying. He's going to get away. <laughs> get this one. Hey, stopping it over the law. We'll have him. He is resisting arrest. Mate, careful, careful, careful. There's been a lot of face hallies and pretty chases lately. Dude, I'm serious. <laughs> He's trying to get away. Come back here, you dastardly thief. <laughs> dastardly thief? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> You're wanted for crimes against mountain biking. <laughs> I think he's a drink driver. Whoa. Oh my God, no, I think you're the drink driver the way you took that bloody corner. <laughs> hey, Stevie Wonder, are you deaf? <sighs> huh? Stevie Wonder's blind. Enough of your lip. What? What? Doing? You're under arrest for riding criminally slow. I'm kidding. Come on, get off. Get over here. Hug it. Now you're in for a long night, son. Well done, constable. We haven't had a sting like this from 5-0 in years. It's a great day's work, <laughs> shall we? Remember, use this time wisely. Learn to ride faster. Slack asses. Rob, tell me about Rob Warner at 10 years old. Mum said the other day, actually, she remembered that nursery refused to take me. <laughs> so there wasn't mountain bikes then. So, Dad, we used to knock up what we used to call tracker bikes. Yeah. And they were, um, in fact, there weren't even any BMXs then, mate. They came in a little bit later. Maybe the BMXs were about. 
My uncle was a rally dealer. I had 14 oh. rally burners in one year. What? Yeah, kept breaking them and smashing them and, and oh then just getting God. new ones. But I was really, yeah, the motorbike bike trials was probably becoming a bit of an obsession by then. We were going most weekends. And, Amazing. And school went really badly. <laughs> and got worse when I went to secondary school. Yeah. I spent most of secondary school on report. <laughs> but, and I'm pretty good at this, I can forge quite well. So I forged my mum's signature every night <laughs> and they never knew I was on report. And I probably spent, out of the five years at secondary school, 18 months on report. Yeah, I'm not proud of that, I was a yeah, terrible that, kid. That was a terrible is, kid. So when I was in hospital and I had my accident, you were one of the first people I spoke to afterwards. I was scared to come and see you. Yeah, well, you remember you rang me. Yeah. And I've been putting it off, and putting it off. <laughs> yeah. We go back all the way, don't we? Yeah, a long time. And yeah. it actually upset me quite a lot, you getting hurt. So uh, I had to man up and I made, I rung you, didn't I? Yeah, well. Which yeah. is weird to say, but you know, and it was gnarly, mate. I didn't, it was, no. It was definitely a gnarly time. But I tell you what, right, in that conversation, you said something that stuck with me to this day, and definitely while I was in hospital, was one of the most important things anyone said to me. Really? I'm not, I'm not making this up, right? I know I wanted to be really positive, and I think I was being really positive with you on the phone. Well, you've probably got to be to get through it. Yeah, but one of the things you said, well, this was the one thing you said. You said, <laughs> me, mate, you've got some dark days ahead. <laughs> you said it, and you said, and I thought, that is brutal, it's honest, and then since then, it's turned out to be vital information. Why? There is going to be dark days ahead. And I started That's for to... all of us, mate, but you yeah. at that time, mate, that, of course, you at that time, like, probably the darkest hole that anyone, well, definitely anyone I'd ever known had been in, do you know what I mean? It was, I got off the phone and I thought, he's right, I gotta, I gotta put some, some armour on, you know? You gotta brace up, mate. Yeah, I gotta, like, I gotta prepare myself for this. I, I know it's my interview, but I'm gonna ask you a question, just because yeah. I wanna know about your well-being. Like, but life's good now, isn't it? It's fantastic. It is, you're it's a happy very... man. I'd say I'm overly happy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably am quite a positive person. Yeah, you're an incredible I, person, I, I, I hate did, to say. <laughs> I did think I'd be all right, but I think that information, that sort of, that brute honesty of like, dude, it ain't gonna be easy. Like, so start getting ready was really important. Oh, dude, talking about dark days ahead, there's a big hill coming. <laughs> okay, I'm having a dark day right now, I don't know ahead. <laughs> right, um, the reason I mention it is like, what is it? What is it that makes you be able to say that to someone? You've got to be honest, haven't you? Yeah, and you're going to have some dark days. Get ahead of you, mate. It ain't going to be plain sailing, is it this? But you are going to get through it. And it's nice that you've said that, because I was never trying to offend you or scare you, but I think you've always got to keep hold of reality, haven't you, as much yeah. as you can. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It will be all right, but you know, it ain't going to be you plain sailing. You've lost nah. most of your legs. Yeah. You ain't going to ride a bike again, like, in the form that you know it. But you're going to have some twat behind you <laughs> pedalling you up hills like this. <laughs> this hill is so steep. Oh, I should watch what I'm doing. Right. Oh, this is bad. Get a bit of river. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's nice, isn't it, mate? That's eh? nice. That is oh, nice. Oh, that is so nice when you're not being nice. an idiot. It's yes. great. Nice. Nose oh. bombs. Jump. We jumped. Jump it. Did the wheel come off the ground? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I don't think it did. A little bit. Am I? Yes, bro. Yes. Yes. Tight line. Oh, nice. You have to take a tight line when I lent then. I... Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, bro. Living the dream, ain't we? <laughs> what? <Whoa>. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nearly. <laughs> nearly living in that tree. <laughs> hey? If I'm getting you to the bottom, so this is too. quite a treat just cruising down here behind yeah. you. Keep it brilliant, brilliant, isn't it? Let's keep it nice. Keep it low in them berms, dude. I'm getting as low as I can. <laughs> Stay low in those turns. Right, Stay low, low, in, those... low right. in this one. Yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Long straight. Oh, Woo! mate, what's Woo! it? Woo! What did you do then? I do it, it was you. I'm st I stood up again, see? The secret is to stay exactly in line with you. Is it? Well, now I'm set down. I've put it on lower. That feels better, right? Yeah. And now I can't see anything. But is that bad? No, no, it's even more terrifying. <laughs> Let's let her go! No, don't! <laughs> oh, okay. What are you doing, bro? Oh, mate, there's a fast bit coming up. Don't go mad again. Will you promise? I promise. It's that, it's a long straight in. What's that? Is that my hammer I just dropped? What the? <laughs> All right! Get out and slow it up, bro! Mark! <laughs> Idiot! Oh, my God! <laughs> We brushed the pedal then. <laughs> you loved that, didn't you? That was it. It's one of the worst things I've ever done. <laughs> we did it. 
We did. Yeah, we no, I'm peddling like a bastard. We lived. <laughs> that, that was nuts. That was nuts, mate. That was nuts, dude. You went way, 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 way too fast. I never thought I'd actually ride with you again. To actually ride absolutely with you on the same bloody bike was yeah. a bit much, but it's been a special day for me. Do you think you understand why I'm in a wheelchair better? <laughs> You were a loose unit and you still are. Nothing's changed. Nothing right. has well, changed. I tell you what, you get a special treat, right? At the end of surviving a day, you get to pick my next victim. Oh, do I really? You do, yeah. Can I make yeah. that phone call? Go for it. Hello? It, we're wondering if we can I can pass over the reins to you for the next one in Fort William. Would you be up for that? Yeah, of course, man. Of course, I'm well Yeah, dude, you'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot, he's going to do it. I can't believe it. He's murdering this trail. <laughs> Christ, I'm blowing out my ass back here. It's it's enjoying fun. yourself up front. That's really relaxing, dude, honestly. I'm having a lot of beautiful day. <laughs> Mate, that actually went well. That was great. Oh, 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 oh. You're <laughs> oh, that in your other end just looks good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. God, no, no. God, no. God, you're strong. No, I, mate. What have you done? I think the handlebars are going to snap. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all right, I've got this. Let's go. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Where are you here. going, bro? Round here. Oh Down there. God. Where Round now? Here. And then Where we're going to come to a hey, stop. He's never seen anyone ride a mountain bike so badly. Get off. Get off. Stop arguing. I'm sick of this. I'm mate, not concentrating. I don't know why I'm even holding on to the handlebars. I'm literally just a fucking peddler. Nor am I. Whoa, no, dude! No. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I've lost the pedal! What are you doing? Get off that bike now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now you've broke me out. Get! <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, and then... Oh yes. Oh, I'm impressed. Oh my god, that was great. It's the Fort William World Cup Ben Hill track. <laughs> my name is Martin Ashton and I'm a paralysed mountain biker. It's crazy, but despite that disability, I still get to ride my bike. Mainly thanks to my crazy, amazing friends. Now I'm on a mission to see where my riding can take me, and more importantly, who I can ride with. My guest on the Random Tandem today is one of the most famous mountain bikers in the world, if not the most famous. He's got hundreds of millions of views on YouTube. You can probably guess who it is, and he's just down here. Let's go and find him. Right, it's time to see who we've got this week. Some random tangling. I love how my confidence is getting less through the day. <laughs> well, dude, first off, right, I want to say just like thanks for doing this. Because, right, you're always there for me when I want to do something really cool, like road bike party when I needed to finish that video. You mm -hmm. came in and helped. <laughs> and then Wrote, uh, back on track when I wanted to get back on a mountain bike. Half your fault, because you helped me do it. And here you are again, so thanks for doing it, man. I really oh, man. appreciate I it. I wouldn't miss it for anyone. I think we're going to have a fun day. Well, I hope so. I'm a bit apprehensive about this one. Well, I think on the, on the ups we're going to be all right. It's the downs. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's the downs. Oh, oh my God. Is this tree? Oh, here we go. You know what you're doing. So you're a kid working in a bike shop. Ten years ago, you release a video and it goes viral, yeah. I mean really viral. Where were you when that happened? And, and, and I don't know, try and explain like what it felt like. I suppose it was back in uh, April 2009, made a wee video. Uh, you know, we worked really hard on it over, over like six months. And we had like six a- Six months? Yeah, and we ended up having like a little uh, premiere in the flat before <laughs> it went online. My friend came round with a, Various, a very selection of booze, let's say, to have like a bit of a kind of celebration. But we actually end up watching the video twice, I think, and then 
didn't really say much. My friends were like, oh yeah, well done, yeah, that's grand. You know, and then uh, we stuck on Family Guy straight afterwards, didn't even celebrate really, just kind of, and then Inspired Bicycles put it online that night. And it was, I think the next day, I was getting woken up by a phone call from, I can't remember the newspapers, or if it was BBC News, sort of saying that the video had started to kind of go viral. And it was just kind of like, all right, I was like, all right, fair enough. You know, I had a look at the views and it was a good few hundred thousand at least. And wow. within a couple of days, it was into the millions and started kind of getting global news and all this kind of stuff going on. So all this crazy, you know, all these crazy requests came in like Ellen DeGeneres show or <laughs> I don't know, things I didn't have a clue about, you yeah. know, interviews for the New York Times. We're going into our first trail. <laughs> it's our first bit of downhill. Yeah. Right, here, we, here go. we go. This is it, here. Right, here we go, dude. Here we go. Oh, hi. Hold tight. Here we go. How's it feel? Oh, yeah, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't you steer it. <laughs> uh, uh, <let's> <laughs> Hold on. Uh, right, there we go. <laughs> How's it feel? It is terrifying. Is it? Oh. That's sort of, that's got to be about right then. <laughs> Lean it in here. Yes. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll start Whoa. to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't down. Don't down. Oh, that's it. oh here that's we go. It. Yeah, we're getting it. Ah, oh, that's better. That's see, if nice. I look, see if I look out the turns too. Yeah. That's better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. We're getting the hang of it now. Or I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, that was lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. That's a tight <laughs> corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer, hit it, hit it, punch it. <laughs> oh, look at these turns. Wide line. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fast enough? Oh, yeah, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm too scared to pedal. <laughs> it's the, oh, <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it, I, I got it, stay on. Oh, my that was close. <laughs> yeah, me too. Whoa. Oh my god! That was oh. close. Right. Having no brakes. Right. Really, you're completely powerless in the back here. Freaks you out, I bet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bit of beans. Bit of beans, oh Danny. My. Nice. Oh my nice. word. Oh, now then. Wow. That was terrifying. That was. Um, you're a lot braver than I am. How do you handle how do you handle that? How do you handle like the pressure of the uh, expectation? Because that's there now for everything you do, isn't it? You know, I didn't want to go and make another street film. I mean that's something I learned I think pretty early on. I realized trying to go one up myself. I don't know, you have to really try hard. Yeah. It means you've got to learn an extra, you know, 180 on each trek. You've got to do find all these different locations where I kind of thought, well, if I go and find some concrete in the wilderness kind of my Scotland rather than being in the city. I thought that'd be a cool way of kind of making it a bit different for folk, kind of getting the scenery involved. And then expectation wise, I just like set my sights as high as I thought I could achieve and probably higher, <laughs> well it turned out to be higher. Yeah. And then uh, we just worked as hard as we could. Okay, so you've got all this fame, you've got these videos <laughs> coming out um, that are just so successful. Uh, how do you handle that fame? Like where's the weirdest place you've been recognized? I don't know, fame. I just, I mean, it's cool that people watch the videos. It's nice, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. I mean, but at the same time, it's not something, a, it's a kind of byproduct of getting to do what I really enjoy. Yeah. That's basically it. So I just kind of go along with it. May as well enjoy it while I can. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, be polite. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing, like, say, whether it's yourself or Petey or hands or any of the other kind of legends. It's something that I've always appreciated, you know, because I was a kid, like, say, meeting yourself. Got time for everybody. Yeah, that's important. And I think, yeah, that's yeah. something that I definitely uh, have tried to learn from you guys. Like, having friends that are um, as passionate about making these kind of films as I am, and they go really over and above, you know, for me and for the kind of, the idea that we're doing. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Legs down, Danny. Legs down. Legs down. I think we've gone the wrong way. Just there, Fort it? William. 
World Cup downhill track. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Oh. I've got an idea. <laughs> Oh, I've never had such a strong will of brakes in my life. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Road bike party. Yes. Two. Big, big moment for me, obviously. What was it like doing that loop? Like I looped the loop, just that no one had ever ridden. I mean, it was I was definitely you know I did it for you. So, you know, not to sound obviously no, I mean, corny on that, but it was I you know it wasn't like a personal goal if you know what I mean. It, well, yeah. I suppose it was because I was like I want to do this for you because yeah. you had talked about it. You know, it was yeah. like a, one of the sort of lines that you'd kind of looked at, and I thought you know as I'd come off the back of Imagine It, I was pretty good at loop the loops. <laughs> um, you know, I'd. Probably most experienced loop the looper in, uh, in the world in the UK at the time. Yeah, I remember just being in in your spandex. Had to wear those. You even made me shave my bloody legs. <laughs> I wouldn't do that for anybody else. That's for sure. You were well, trying to get me to fake tan them, but that was a wee step too far. If I was doing that for myself, I'd have probably I would have done it way differently. Probably taken way longer to do it. Yeah, but because it was for you and for the film. I was kind of like, right. I basically just built the run up. We had to get a blowtorch to dry the road out. And I just went in. And I've never been able to kind of switch my brain off to the fear as well as I did, I think, on that loop. I remember the first time I made it around, I couldn't believe I was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> but I you know, put my feet down because I was so in shock yeah. that I had actually gone round. And then the second time, it didn't go so well for me. I ended up rolling the tire off the bead and landing on my head. Big crap. And then the third time, what a feeling. And the feeling of calling you, oh. you know, at that time with what you were going through, kind of knowing that we'd kind of got that. Well, loop, loop the loop is definitely one of your riding strengths. Like, you've got to confess now, what's one of your riding weaknesses? I would say jumps. Jumps? And yeah, jumps. I am rubbish at riding transition. <laughs> you mean you're just confident in something. If you put me on the edge of like a building or a gap between buildings that were, even if it was like, a 500 foot drop in between. Yeah. I can do that as long as it's within my limit. But there's something about jumps, the blind lip, <laughs> and then just having doubt in your back of your mind on them, you yeah. know? And then that makes you end up like squashing the takeoff and then you go too far. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just not good at jumps. I kind of should really kind of go and work on it. I mean, I pretend that I can do jumps every now and again, <laughs> doing flips. I actually find it easier uh, to flip jumps. Like I just, in the imagine I had this step down onto a giant comic book called The Dandy. Yeah. And uh, I, I, the step down onto the onto that dandy, I never once hit it straight. I've backflipped it every time. No I like the hundreds of goes that I <laughs> I hit the loop. Yeah. I only ever backflip it because I I find backflips are almost like a dead sailor, but <laughs> but you know you don't get to see you can't really stiffen up. If you know what I mean, it's like yeah. you kind of. I don't know, it's a way of kind of being loose. That's crazy that you'd rather backflip a jump than oh, jump for it. sure. <laughs> yes. So, I have to say I'm impressed with this film. <laughs> that is unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa, what was the treat? Oh, sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> What? What happened then? I think we were too busy looking at... I was too busy looking at Tom. <laughs> Jesus, that was crazy. Eyes on the prize. <laughs> Let's concentrate. <laughs> oh yeah, I like this corner. You'll like this dude. Watch this. <laughs> Up here. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> sick. That was the sickest line. <laughs> oh my... Oh, oh, oh. oh we do not want to fall off here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love how my confidence is getting less throughout the day. 
Is there a video you put out, right, that you've been disappointed by? Ooh. No, no. Like, I mean, once they're online, you never know how they're going to do. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, there's, most of the time I'm surprised. The biggest surprise I think since Inspired Bicycles was... The Ridge. The Ridge, because that went mental. Well, it's so slow. I mean, you, yeah. make, you know, nowadays it's all about, like, view time and getting the action going within the first, you know, like, 10 seconds and all this kind of yeah. stuff. And I get that, you know. <laughs> but it just seemed to kind of... I don't know, that's going to sound cheesy, but resonate with... Oh, oh, I'm not putting as much power into that now. Oh. What's, um, what's your worst crash? I've had loads of crashes, but they're just usual kind of things. You break a collarbone or your <laughs> usual things. Yeah, the kneecap, rip my kneecap. And yeah. I don't know, all, all sorts of different ones, but... most annoying one is I basically tore a disc in my lower back. And oh. that's, that wasn't even a crash, that was just 316 off a big drop. Right. Multiple times and I kept on making a little hole for myself on the landing. Yeah, I think it must have torn then. What about um, you must where you've been doing live shows? I crash all the time. But I think it almost, I, I, in my head, it kind of, it's part of the show. It kind of gives it a bit of a dose of reality. Yeah, right. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah. As long as you can get something like third go. Yeah. When you're going fourth or fifth go. It's boring. That's when you've normally you know you've probably overdone it the night before. Because <laughs> I guess everybody thinks from your videos that you land everything first time. Oh, far from it, far from it. And usually like a lot of either preparation or just perseverance that usually kind of gets the clips because often the riding's like a lot harder than my own. Oh, here we oh, go. Go on, nice, gen nice steady pedal for here now, dude. Go on, go on, go on. Don't worry about my braking. Oh yeah, that's brilliant, Danny. Go on. Oh, I'm impressed. Oh my God, that was cool. <laughs> That was cool, wasn't it? This is like, it's had, like being in six days, the way that the front wheel tracks. We had proper trials riding going then. Go on, go on, keep it pedaling, just keep pedaling through it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, I was pleased with that. <laughs> Tried one trick for a video, I think it was four, 300 times, 400 times? Yeah, I would say. I mean, least. that's insane. It's the only way you're going to kind of progress things or progress your own riding is if you sort yeah. of pick things that are on your limit. But Danny, most people don't try things 300 times. Yeah, but, that's, but I would that's say, compared with some sports, where folk are dev devoting years of their lives to one project, yeah. you know, I really, you know, I find that really inspiring. It's not like, I don't take that philosophy to my writing, but yeah, just like, I love coming up with a, sometimes a silly idea and then making it a reality. There's nothing, there's not a better feeling, I don't think, than that. <laughs> Especially, you know, the ones that take the longest as well. The hard-earned one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This thing's insane. <laughs> Those are flying up here. Uh oh. Go on, keep pedaling it. Go on, keep pedaling it. Keep on it. <laughs> go on, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, what are you doing? I don't even know what you're doing. Whoa! I can feel you. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> go no hands. Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Let me do a big skid. Let me do a big skid. <laughs> right, jump, I'm coming back, back on. Right, I'm going to get back on. I'm going to try to side. Right. Steady. Yeah. Yeah. Steady she goes. That's steady. That's it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god. That, that was pretty good actually. That was crazy. <laughs> oh look at this. We found look trials at it. heaven. The dream. Trials oh, heaven. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go right up there. Are we gonna go just go for it? Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's do it. We'll be alright. Up there. Go on, go on. Oh yeah, we've got it. We've got it. We've got all it. Right. We've got it. Yeah, we've got it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Just keep grinding it, grind it, grinding it. Yes! Oh my god, we're doing it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, keep going. Oh, mate. You're really up top. Sweet. Oh, no, we nearly did it. Hard luck. I think we want to get to there, and then we want to go up there and off that ledge. That ledge? Have you been off it? Off there, where the Neil is now. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this one. <laughs> I actually think it's going to look amazing. What? On you being framed. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, I think the sump is going to hit about here. I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm eight years old. 
I think we'll give it a go. I'll just close my eyes. You're in control. You all right? Yeah. Are you, are you shaking because you're cold or because you're scared? <laughs> scared. No, it's just getting cold. <laughs> I'm just cold. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. This is going to be right, brilliant. I'm going to get us going a wee bit. Right, yeah. ready? Okay, let's do it. I'm going to creep over oh the edge. God. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 no, oh, that's that's nice! Yeah! <laughs> that was nuts! I amazing. can't believe I had you on the back. It's been absolutely amazing. Did Thank you enjoy you. it? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Thank oh, you so man. much. Thank you, dude. Cheers. I've really enjoyed it. Right, so your special prize at the end of Random Tandem is you get to choose who's next. I think I know somebody. Yeah? How about an Olympian? Oh my god, an Olympian would be amazing. Well, I'll get on the phone. Maybe when I get some signal. <laughs> <laughs> this one's especially close. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. that How's that angle there? Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty good. Really. Oh, yeah. Here we go, we're getting the hang of it now. That's better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go, we're getting the hang of it now. <laughs> oh, look at this bit, go right up it. See if you can ride a fair bit. Go on. Pin it, pin it. Oh my god, this is pretty. Double God, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll get you up here. Go on, dude. Let's do it. Edge it up. <laughs> Go on, Darry, you can do it. Push. Oh, I don't think. Fair done. Right. That was not ideal. I'm in the flow of it now, dude. Whoa. I've got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My eyes are like that. That was. You need to film our filming you filming us. I know. We Plus, should, well, actually, we've got the, we've got, we've yeah. got the fusion. We can flip around and see yeah. this. I'm yeah. impressed. Oh no. That was awesome. Try to go straight, Mark. I am. That's, my, that's me trying to correct. Yeah, break down here. Break, 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 break. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Oh no. Oh. Whoa! Holy. Race day. Yeah, we're heading up the hill to do the Fox Air DH on the random tandem. Me and Blake, I can't quite believe it. It's an insane idea because A Line, which is the track we're racing on, for the tandem is honestly terrifying. It's, it's huge. We practiced yesterday and I've never been so scared on a bike in my life. I'm actually shaking. I am actually here. truly shaking. But Blake, it's a random tandem race. I thought we need to look the part. Well, okay. I'm all black. Yeah, but it's the random tandem. Right. right, you've got to look steezy and nuts. I think black is. So that? I've got a little surprise for you, Andrea. <laughs> look. Oh, we're matching. We're matching. Oh. Pro race top. Are we gonna? Yes. <laughs> put it on, and then I've got another surprise for you. Can I put it on now? You can put it on now, yeah. Dress him up, showing off his titties. Uh, Never been naked on He's there. a beautiful specimen, isn't he? Naked uh, yeah, years. so we're really nervous. It's going to be really I'm exciting. Um, yesterday was a big day for me because I was practicing with my prototype fabric seat, um, which could have gone wrong, I guess, but it didn't. It was, in, it was incredible. It worked like a dream. So we're going to head back home after Whistler and really dress that up and make that look fantastic. So I guess all that's left to do is uh, just add our matching freshy gloves. <laughs> If you'll notice, what? I've swapped hands, so we're going. Uh, I particularly like wearing alternate, alternate colour gloves. So it's an orange and a blue look for me and Blake on the random tandem. That. We look too pro. We do. We look too pro. We better win. Let's do we it. We better win. <laughs> well, that actually matched. Look. Whoa. Well, it will, won't it? Because we. Because we. we yeah. Oh yeah. Heading up to the race run. 
Yeah, I'm proper nervous now. You got I'm cotton proper, mouth. I'm proper scared, yeah. I need some water. Leo's gonna be following us. It's gonna be sick! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then we we're gonna go for it. And, I'm, going for and it. I've got a plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna get down through them first few corners. Then I'm just gonna listen to Blake's instructions. I'm gonna break when you say break. And I am not gonna break when you say don't break. Don't break. Because we want to clear some of them stuff up. Well, that's what you say. Yeah. And I, you say it's better to clear them than not. It is better to clear but, than case the hell out of it. There's definitely some times when I feel like I'd like to break. Then you, you should do break. what you think is right for you, Mark. No, I'm, go I'm, I'm only doing what you say once we're through them first. Right. Two I'm going to be saying break before we get too fast and go to the moon. Well, there's definitely one we have to break for. Yeah, 100%. There's a massive one that you said. Massive, massive break one. Yeah, yeah. So, the, but the other ones where you're like, I think we need to clear it. I'm just gonna leave them breaks and go st as straight as an arrow. I think, yeah. I just want to go straight off of that. That is key. We want to go straight off that yeah. leg. Because if we go yeah. skew it, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's when it goes terribly yeah. wrong. I'm getting, I'm getting into it now. Yeah. I'm getting into it. Now. I feel good on the back, Mark. Yeah. We've got this, dude. We've, We've got, got this. this. We've got this. Dropping in. Right, dingers. Right, dingers. Let's have it. Just be careful, though, eh? Oh Don't yeah, get... man. Get too carried away. Right, we're going right to the start line. Boom. Go, Blake. Ready? Go. Oh, that was on the point then, dude. Remember this corner? Yeah. Go quite high. Quite oh, high, Mark. You I couldn't because of the fusion. Oh. Oh. We got away with it, Bingers. Yeah. We got away with it. Ow. Right Careful, now, Mark. I am now on your instruction. Yeah, right. Remember, these are brave for this. Yeah. Yeah. We're ah! racing a line, dude. No brakes. Oh right. yes. <laughs> oh, that was harsh. A bit of brakes for these, I reckon. A right, bit no of brakes. No brakes. Yes, no brakes. Oh no. That was a Try go straight, Mark. I am, that's my that's me trying to correct. Don't try correct, you gotta go off straight. No brakes. Yeah. Yeah, that was well nice. We popped into that one well good. Yeah. Alright, stay left. Stay left, no brakes. Oh, straight, losing, straight. We're losing the fusion. Bit of brake, bit of brakes, no brake. But we're, whoa. Martin Ashton. Oh. Just take it easy. I'm going easy. Break, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, there we goes lost the fusion. We lost the fusion. Oh my God, we lost the fusion. Careful. All right, break a little bit for this. No break, no break, no break. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Oh my God, right. I can't believe we lost the fusion. All right, break a little bit for this, Matt. Straight on that, yeah. Oh, nice man, nice. Good instruction. This is where it's going to get tight. Okay. After this one. Yeah. So slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That was and the then best. Stay right. Stay right. Yeah. But brakes, because it's quite rough down here, Mark. Yeah. Okay. All right. Slow. Bit slow. Not too right. <laughs> All right. Slow down for this. Slow down for this. Straight. That's it. All right. Go a little bit left. A little bit left. A little bit left. <laughs> no brakes off this, no brakes. Oh my god! No brakes, no brakes, go straight. That's it. Wow. Right, brake here, a little bit. Oh my god. A little bit, a little bit, stay oh. right. This is the rough St drop. Nice. I got left and right, right then. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. Brake a little bit for this, Mark. Brake. Alright, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let go. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Don't break, don't break. Oh, yeah. That was the best one we've done. Yeah. Come on. Don't break. Stay right and don't break. Don't break, don't break. All right, this is where it's getting big, Mark. So okay. let's be careful. Don't break. All right, there's a rollers. Break a little bit, yeah. Woo. That was a rock. All right, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Whoa. 
Don't break. Don't break. Oh, we haven't got it. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Oh. Oh, this is where you got to break on this big one, eh? Right, so break. A not... little bit, yeah. Break down here. Break, 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 break. break, break. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Oh no. Oh. Whoa! Holy f I held on for that one. Oh my god! I held on for that one. Oh my god! Stay left. Stay left. That was too much, that dude. That was too scary, man. We gotta go off straight. I am going off straight. Don't break. It's just right. pedal, 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 pedal. Pedal. All right, stay left off this. Stay left. Left, left, left. Yeah. All right, this is where we're cutting off now. Okay. So break a little bit because it's rough. Yeah, yeah. It's loose. It's loose, man. It's loose. It's loose. It's kids. It's kids. Good job. Mind your back. Cheers, dude. Pedal, pedal, pedal. All right, we're going to slow here a bit, Mark. Slow down a bit. We've got to get up over here, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go slow. Go slow, slow, slow in, Mark. Oh, slow missed in. it. Missed it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, push it, push it, yes. Slow, slow, <laughs> slow, slow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, that slid in nice. Nice, nice. Right, so this is a step down, you want to go a little bit slow off this, Mark. A little bit slow. But straight, remember? Yes. <laughs> All right, just a bit breaks for this, bit breaky, bit breaky, let go. We'll go up right a bit. Right. And then straighten up on it. Right, what do I do here? Don't break off this. Don't break, don't, don't break, break, don't break. Right, break a little bit. Let go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah break, break. Alright, pull it in. Bring us to the legend. Oh my god, you're gonna stop me. What was that? It was <laughs> It was good. We There's lost the, we lost the GoPro the Fusion, fusion um, halfway down. Um, yeah, it was turn it was around. amazing. Uh, we definitely went scratch. too big on a yeah. few things, and we only just we only just did it. We only just did that bit. I'm officially retiring my A-line career right there. No, until next year. Until next year. <laughs> it was an unbelievable, Bingers. Martin, yeah. we just. Oh man, it was so oh, good scary. fun. It was such good fun. But I'm glad we got to the bottom. Everything worked, except for the uh, except for, except that for the camera, fusion disaster. That thing I, fell hope, off I hope it still down. works. But uh, it was pretty crazy. Okay, don't tune out. Yeah, yeah, hang in there because we've got something a little bit different for you today. See, I was used early this year as a bit of a test dummy for the GMBN Random Tandem. Talk us through it, Martin. Yeah, well, okay, so used, that's a harsh <laughs> word, but it's actually probably the truth. So the Random Tandem is an e-bike. It's got an e-bike power at the back, um, and then I'm sat on the front, I'm in a wheelchair, usually. So when I'm on the mountain bike, I'm kind of not powering the bike. So this ingenious tandem means I can ride with my friends, we hoped, and, uh, and, and we thought we'd have some fun with it. But this video that you're about to see is Mark being used basically as the first rider I tried any of this with. Because we didn't know if it worked until this video. And it went okay, right? Like we had a little bit of a hairy start. Yes. But we figured it out, we got flowing. I mean, we weren't breaking any records, let's... No, I mean, it, but it's scary on the back. There's no doubt, it's scary on the back. And since this video, I've done a few rides, Rob Warner, Danny McCaskill, Brett Tippy. I've been out with Blake and Rode A-Line in Whistler. Neil's been on the back, everyone said, it's absolutely terrifying. Um, so Mark was pretty brave to try this, and yeah, like I said, it didn't go perfect all the time, but we managed to do a bit of an interview. I did a bit of triathloning. Well, I kitted up a bit, <laughs> but it's a fun vid. Check it out. Come on, Mark, pick up. Come on. Mark. Oh, man. Oh, dude, you couldn't come out me, could you? Oh, I just want to get a few more runs in. The weather's just beautiful. And I just want to ride some more. Hey, Martin. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Oh, thanks, man. <sighs> Mate, no problem. Oh, no big Come on. <laughs> it takes a while to kick in. Whoa. Whoa. It doesn't kick in. Put on. What are you doing, Mark?
We're off. How does it feel? Oh, How does it feel? Dreamy. This I'm sort good. of quite excited. Okay. All right, this is good. Yeah. This is good. Okay. Well, I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll, okay. Let me give Maybe it some not. wobbles. Oh, okay. And then you sort of get okay. the idea of how okay. it feels, yeah? See what I mean? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah? Yeah, now stop doing that. Try no hands. Ooh. Slide <laughs> 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 try no hands. <laughs> no. <Ooh. God. laughs> <laughs> Whoa! No, that's hard. That's hard actually. No hands are difficult. How did Mark Preffel get into, into triathlon? Because you must have started with either swimming or running, and I guess it wasn't bike riding going by your talents right now. <laughs> Go on, how did it start for you? Um, so I came from swimming. Oh, um, swimmer! Oh. Yeah, I just did that for years actually. Yeah. Loved it, and then. Uh, so what age will you start? What, what age did you realise you're a swim? Uh, it's probably, I was about eight actually. It's like my local swim club. And what happens is you kind of get, you put, you're put into lanes by your ability or your age. And yeah. one day they're like, oh, you know what, Mark? Bit of room in this top lane. Why don't you jump in there? There's like 16 year old ah, kids in there. I was eight right. years old. I was like, right, game on. Nice. To the front of the lane. And that was it. I just kept going and like that, I guess that was like, where it all kicked off, I was like, oh, I think I can maybe do something here. Um, so what, when you're, cause swimming takes, you have to do crazy hours for swimming, don't you? Yeah. Like why so, swimmers always seem to be in the pool at like five o'clock in the morning? <laughs> why do you have to go in so early? Well, actually you gotta swim twice a day. If oh. you're a pure swimmer. So yeah. You'd be in in the morning. And why do you have to swim twice? Just cause every, you gotta get as much time in the pool as you can. Right. Um, so yeah, like when I was, 15, 16, I was swimming like 11 times a week with school in between. And so you can understand why I, in the end, I was like, actually, I'm done with this swimming thing. I <laughs> guess as like, as someone who doesn't do like a sort of fitness based sport, big puddle coming up. Boy. I've always thought like what the mentality has got to be for like someone like yourself training. Um, are you, are you all just mental? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Cause it must drive you slightly mad. It is, uh, that is a weird mentality, I'll say that myself. Because it's just repetition, isn't it? To like the, especially you just You've got to enjoy hurting yourself. Like, it is a weird mentality. You just, you enjoy hurting yourself and you enjoy hurting other people. So, yeah, you know, if we're on a ride now and I saw that the guys beside <laughs> us were hurting. You want to I, give I, it I'd, to I'd push on, like, that's, <laughs> that's how my mind oh, works. Oh, you yeah, I am one You're of those people. You're I didn't realise. You're an horrible <laughs> <laughs> All endurance athletes are. How old were we now where you stopped swimming and got uh, into triathlon? So yeah. I was about 17 when I got into 17. triathlon. So you start, how does it, how does it start? I, I, what I can't get my head around is like, you do one sport to an elite level and then you've got to be at an elite level at two other sports. Yeah. How do you transition? Uh, Cause that's a lot of, that's You know what, it's a bit of a sport. blur. I kind of just threw myself in all guns blazing and like just, Rode as much as I could. Obviously, I could swim. Um, I was a hopeless runner to start off with. <laughs> Absolutely hopeless. What's hopeless though? What does that mean? Uh, you know, like I was just—I was quite a big swimmer build, believe it or not, back then. But I was, and I was just like—I ran like a boxer. Imagine, like, <laughs> kind of like shoulders fixed, and yeah, yeah. I didn't look pretty. <laughs> oh was, right, not gliding along. No, no, no. I We're like going studded. down there in a minute. That's oh. the one we've got to try and do. Terry's belly. Terry's belly. That's the yeah. one we've got to try and do. Right. We've got to get onto this little bit here, Mark. Okay. Right. So this is the first little technical bit. What's the best tackers? You just when I give say give it some beans. Yeah. You give it some. Right. We should just roll through. That's it. Bit of beans now. Nice. That's it. We're in. Oh, this is cool, yeah. this bit. Oh, this, this, climb, good. this climb is wicked fun, man. You, you have to just keep the pedal. Beat this guy up there. Yeah, we'll beat him. Oh, Come on, look, yeah, let's see a bit of your triathlon mentality yeah, now, right? Let's nail that. this guy. You might strike your pedal a few times, but the best thing to do is just keep pedaling through. I'll try and steer through the gaps. Whoop, not like that. <laughs> right, let's go, let's go wide. I think we're gonna, do, we're gonna beat this guy. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> push it, push it. Push it, go on, a bit more, a bit more. Yes, we are doing yes, it. Yes, yes. Hello. Hello, mate. You were up. Oh, you, you horrible <laughs> You really are mean. 
Right, so what was your first triathlon competition? Oh. Where's, where did you go first? Um, I did something really locally, like yeah, little sprint distance pool triathlon. Yeah. Did it in a pair of speedos. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the whole of course. thing. Of course. Yeah. Biked in the speedos. Oh no. Didn't even put a t-shirt on oh, for the no. run. Surely that's got to be against the. I law. didn't have any kit. Oh right. Just did so on the cheap. Oh right. Um, in your speedos. Oh, yes. <laughs> then I got disqualified in my second triathlon. Yeah. Because there's all these rules about when you're allowed to take your helmet off and... Oh, so you're like the bad boy. Oh, I don't are know you, about that. Are you the bad boy of triathlon? I was kind of quite lucky, actually. Like, quite soon on, British triathlon snapped me up. Right. They snapped me up. I wasn't really, like, hot property or anything, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, Mark. When we get here, hang on a second. Keep pedalers up through here, a bit of beans. And then we're just going to, like, just... Oh, go on, keep pedalling. Keep pedalling, keep pedalling, keep pedalling. Go oh. down here and then get... Oh, OK, OK. Get your feet down. <laughs> that was the best place for a pose ever. Uh, right, we here we go. So you don't need to pedal so much now. No, you won't need to pedal once we get rolling. What do you think, Mark? <laughs> Ask me in a minute. <laughs> Okay, bit of, sorry. Bit of beans there, Mark. That's it. Perfect. Sorry, I went a bit too high then. Bit more. Bit more. That's it. Then I'm just going to bring it around. Whoa! That was cool. That was crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> a couple of bits where I like, I definitely fought it and. <laughs> yeah, you got. It was good though. How good is that? Right, Mark. Yeah. Where was we? We were talking about triathlon, and you were in your pants. <laughs> and then you grew up. And you stopped swimming, and you started triathloning. Yep. Well, so when did you stop competing? Um, so, oh, that was a couple of years ago now. Did a race in South Africa. Yeah. Actually, you know what, it went pretty well. Um, but then GTN came along. Right. Me and uh, pulled me away. But um, no, it's a like, really cool opportunity to present for channel. Following the footsteps of people like yourself, Martin. Ah, stop it, ah, stop it. Um, uh, but do you miss the competing? Because for someone who's like driven by like nailing someone else <laughs> when they're under pressure, like, do you not miss the competition? Like, is that, is that part of your main Yeah, part? no, massively. Like, I still try and enter the odd competition here and there. Yeah. Um, just because naturally I'm very competitive, but I found other ways of being competitive. Like I was giving blood the other day and I, I wanted to be the fastest person to give blood that day. <laughs> so, stuff like that where it's just like, I'll That's make it hilarious. a competition. No one else will think of it as being a competition, but I'll make it a competition. And, you, and it's just part of your makeup, you've got to do that. Yeah. So what, what are the actual like racing competitions you were doing now? Because you were doing a run the other day, I, I saw you done a run. Oh, I did Like the, a running event. I did the Bath Half Marathon. Yeah. Um, yes, that went well. Um, I'm doing... Um, the Norseman later this year, which is oh, like the right. hardest triathlon event. And it's like, you know, if you search toughest events in the world out there, yeah, uh, that tends to come up in the top 10. Oh, no way. So what is that in kind of distance wise? Uh, it's like an Ironman distance. You do right. 3.8k swim, 180k bike, oh. and then a marathon to finish at the top of a mountain. But it's all in like... That is insane. Brutal conditions in Norway. Yeah. Starting a fjord in the dark, jump off the back of a ferry. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my God. Not sure I know what I've let myself in for, to be honest. Yeah. So this is good training. Yeah. 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 So how, have, have you done an Ironman before? No. <laughs> what? So I'm doing, yeah. Got gone in the deep end. Haven't done an Ironman. I'm going to get You've never done an Ironman. So you're not really a triathlete. <laughs> I thought you were, you're not even a real triathlete. Um, so I did. I, I thought you needed like a tattoo and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I avoided that. So you avoided the tattoo? Yeah. Is that not a good look in the world of uh, triathlon? Definitely not in the pro field, no. In there. <laughs> oh, is it frowned upon? Um, a little bit. Yeah, it's not, it's not the greatest look, but <laughs> hey, look, I'm, these, the people that get them, they support our sport, so yeah. can't diss it. Uh, it's each to their own. And it's it? a cool achievement, hey? So definitely. If people want to shout about that, definitely. they can. 
But so you're going to do your first, I can't believe this, you're going to do your first Ironman distance and it's in, <laughs> yeah. ju uh, in yeah. just the craziest location. Yeah. That's insane. So you haven't lost your competitive spirit no, at all? No, It's basically the answer to that question. the swimming well yeah so we've got open water swim mostly uh, you've got Olympic distance swim which is uh, 1500 meters middle distance swim 1.9 K and then an Ironman swim which is a uh, 3.8 K and so. you wear this the whole time <laughs> you're not quite like that though. Uh, my eye won't close <laughs> ow it really hurts so tell me about the running oh Jesus Hang oh, on. yeah so the running yeah, it's uh, 10k for the Olympic distance, half marathon for the middle distance. Mark, what are you wearing and why aren't you on the bike? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> are you on? <laughs> I've got a swimming hat on. <laughs> Did all right. You did, did right. good. Apart from the point I got catapulted off the back, a bit like when you're yeah. in the back of a bus on the rear seat and you go over that a bump. Was, you're like, that was quite worrying. That bit was. I mean, my my worry was you just <laughs> heading off down the <laughs> run down the trail. <laughs> Imagine if you'd killed me. Oh man. Well, I wasn't gonna let wouldn't that happen. Have, wouldn't have been um, so bad. But yeah, it was great fun. So thanks ever so Mate. much. You know the difference between pink and purple? <laughs> <laughs> my life is in your hands. That feels so scary. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Everywhere we went, people wanted to take it to their gnarliest trails and try and, you know, kill us. And oh, drop it in. <laughs> I think they're rad, and I flew them information. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. We ready, lads? My name is Martin Ashton, and I'm a paralyzed mountain biker. It's crazy, but despite that disability, I still get to ride my bike, mainly thanks to my crazy, amazing friends. Now I'm on a mission to see where my riding can take me, and more importantly, who I can ride with. Right, it's time to see who we've got this week. Oh, amazing! This is Brett Tippy, one of the biggest personalities in mountain biking. But you know what, for Brett it hasn't all been rock rolls and drifting in the dirt. The sport treated him well, but that led to some darker times where life got just a bit too rock and roll. I love his story and I love this guy. And if Whistler wasn't enough of a gift as a location, apparently Brett has bought me a present too. Uh, this is Rob Warner's wig. So, woo! <laughs> Yeah, this has been partying in hard, and it kind of matches the uh, you know GMBN uh, graphics on your jersey. So I thought we'd have a bit of wigs and you know some big hair, big hair. Please don't drop my helmet on this lift. Oh my god! There you go. And I have to wear this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so That's here it. we go. We're dropping here we in. Go. First route in for Brett. I just gotta be gonna... dead weight here. Yeah, just this let it roll. Totally in. scary. Yeah, try not to steer it out of the corners. <laughs> and then we basically go <laughs> this is in, <laughs> into these turns. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, just pass right, dead weight. Right, dead, dead weight. weight. Let's okay. Step down here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's wall rides coming up, right? Eh? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't even worry about that. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, it's the middle. It's still on. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. All right, let's get this shot up. Here okay, we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Martin Ash, oh, thank God you have been world champion. Because <laughs> my life is in your hands. That feels so scary, actually. <laughs> You yes. actually know what you're doing. Oh, I you're got not it. a I got former it. world champion for nothing. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right, so. So um, now we're out of the village and now we're, we're cruising the over village. towards the Lost Lake Trails. This place, this place is beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my God. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's start at the beginning. Oh okay. Boy. Let's start at the beginning. Original. Let's start at the beginning. I started at the bottom and I kind of like it there. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Kamloops original. You started snowboarding, like you said, and you're a racer on snowboard, but a free rider on mountain bike. Yeah, you know, it was like a way to get my kicks in the summer when there was no snow. Yeah. I was jonesing so bad for, you know, a bit of a shred. Yeah. And uh, I uh, would take my bike out and just go free riding with my bike and get some thrills and some kicks, like doing some steeps and um, yeah. jumping off little cliffs and... Little cliffs? Well, some big cliffs, yeah. yeah. How big do you think you jumped off? What was the biggest thing you did? Oh, probably like uh, 25 feet is the biggest thing I landed. Wow. Um, I tried some 30 plus footers. But back in the day, though, on those bikes. Well, an eight meter drop back then, that yeah. was insane. People didn't, yeah, you I mean, know, they didn't know what to expect. It, or, or, we didn't know what to expect. It was kind of like, it was unknown, right? Yeah, I mean, it's easy now because you can watch 50 videos of people doing it. And the bikes are made for that now. Yeah. They've had, you know, yeah. two decades of, of technology to, you know, work out what doesn't work and what does work. And So there was you, there was Richie Schley, Wade, Wade Simmons. Simmons. There was guys like Dangerous Dan in the North Shore, Johnny Smoke. Yeah. You know, there, there was uh, there's a few people out there sending it. You know, we really you know, took to it. And Richie was a pro skier and I was a pro snowboarder. So we really knew how to work the cameras in. Yeah. Cameras and, and, and work the program and, and, you know, get good light. And, yeah. Um, we just, uh, just kept it going. And uh, it took, took hold and um, did a lot of movies, a lot of uh, magazine shoots, TV shows, was yeah. tons of exposure. It was, it was insane. And then we started making money and getting plane tickets around the world. And it was, it was awesome. And everywhere we went, people wanted to take it to their gnarliest trails and try and you know, kill us if we could ride them, <laughs> which is exactly what we wanted. And did you, did you feel like um, you were changing the sport at yeah, that time. A little bit, you know, I, yeah. I, I could see what was going on from other sports. I saw these other sports happening. I saw Crusty Demons of Dirt, you know, yeah. taking racing and then turning it into free riding. I saw skiing with um, lots of racing going on and then they had Blizzard of Oz. Yeah. You know, start the free skiing movement and then I just knew it was gonna happen to mountain biking. And so I knew that something special was going on. And That's I didn't incredible. see anyone else anywhere to what we were doing. Mind your head, Brett. Whoa, oh, Jesus Christ. So, oh. Whoa. Wow, that was close. We nearly went down, dude. We nearly went down. Yeah, that was big. That was big. Professional. Wow, wow, wow. And again. We're getting loose. Right, we're getting loose. Right, a couple of loose loose units here. Time to concentrate. Oh, okay. These lips are funny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That would be coming. Okay, hey, do you know the guy that was addicted to brake fluid? No. He says he can stop anytime. I thought the guy that was afraid of speed bumps. Right. He's slowly getting over it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous lake. Oh my god, that's incredible. Yeah, it's just oh, so this amazing place out here. Is, this place is insane. Oh yeah, it's oh. gorgeous. So Kamloops looks completely different to this, doesn't it? Because it looks like something out of the Wild West. Well, it is true. It's like one of the only deserts in Canada. Yeah. It's a semi-arid um, zone. Yeah. And uh, all the storms come in off the Pacific and they hit the coastal mountains and dump their load and rain and the rainforest here. Yeah. Then they uh, go up and over uh, the valleys and then it's like desert. And then they eventually pick up water from the rivers and lakes and they dump again down by Revelstoke. Right. So the right. Counts area, we got cactus, rattlesnakes. That's crazy. And it's very much a desert, but it used yeah. to be a lake. So there's all these like clay uh, formations everywhere. 
that are just made for free riding. Wow! Steep chutes and like couars and cliff drops. Like you could ride gnarly stuff there. And if you face planted or crash hard, yeah. you know, you wouldn't like lose ounces of flesh like you would in the rocks. Right. All the other places in BC or around the world. Yeah, you could give it a, give it a go. You could give yeah. it a go and get up and dust okay. yourself off and try it again and try it again. Yeah. And you kind of learn how to ride this stuff so that when you did do it in rockier situations, you've kind of already done it a little bit, but with all the consequences. There can't be many people who, I guess Palmer and stuff like that, who've had like a snowboard career and then a long mountain bike career. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's incredible. So you're, what, if, if you combine your snowboard and your mountain bike career, how long have you been an athlete? Because well, I mean, you're still doing it. Since 83 uh, on the bike and board, but I went pro snowboarding in yeah. uh, 91. And then uh, I started getting paid mountain biking in 97. Yeah. And so that's amazing. Uh, it's still going. <laughs> that's crazy. That and I crazy. get paid to do both still. I don't know. It's a dream job. Yeah. But I mix it up with a lot of coaching, uh, some guiding, some announcing, some video hosting. Well, we're beasting up past the camera here. We're beasting up past the camera. Go on. Go on. Go on. TFP. 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 Go on. Oh my God. That was good. That was that's good. a big hill. That's a big hill. Right, let's stop it here and have a little break, because that was, that's Landing hard. Gear. Oh. Hey, I got one for you. Go on. What was the biggest mountain in the world before they discovered Mount Everest? Uh, don't know. Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel like such an idiot. Oh my God. What do I want to ask you next? Okay, let's Why get Why are you into... driving a parkway with parking a driveway? <laughs> Why are you in movies but on TV? That's a good, that's a good point. <laughs> Why do they call them asteroids when they come to the hemispheres? They call them penroids when they're on your ass? <laughs> if you're from the North Pole, do you get Polaroids? <laughs> Why do men have nipples? There's many different questions you could ask. <laughs> that's a lot of questions. <laughs> I have no answer for any of them. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's got... We're waking out, I guess. <laughs> Is that what you call it? I don't know what you call this, dude. I don't know what you call it. Okay, oh, these are going to be crazy. Pump the roll alert. Oh, my God. <laughs> Red Tippy and Martin Ashton. Head and down the hill. Down the oh, yeah. Okay. On your right. On your right. Yeah, on your right. On your right. Thank you, Paul. All three of us. <laughs> I just totally remembered you've got a scale. Yeah, yeah, you know they said, well, three, whoa, whoa, three. Whoa. It's nice whoa. part of railing it. Oh, yeah, bro. No. Nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 We made it. We made it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Feet down, dude. Oh. And, and like, how long? So how long has it been? How long have you been sober? And I've been sober since December 17th, 2008. Wow! And uh, wow, well, congratulations! That yeah, is, thank I mean, you. I can only imagine it's. Yeah, it's I have my dad to achieve. thank and my wife to thank and and uh, a friend of mine who who got me a mountain bike and another friend who got me a job doing some construction and gave me a place to stay. My friend Greg Salmon and uh, my friend Peter who got me a mountain bike and I got psyched on mountain biking again. Oh, good and point, um, dude. you know, good there's point. a bunch of different people and things that you know will make a difference. Yeah. And uh, I was lucky enough to you know, grab the bit of help that I could and then do the rest myself and... Um, and your dad was around to s s see you through it or...? He saw me uh, sober for seven months before he passed away. Right. And so, you know, if I, I hadn't happened, I don't know if I could live with myself. Yeah. And so I'm very thankful that I had that. Yeah, yeah, I bet that's important, right? You just, that he could you see, need, yeah. see the turning of the leaf, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Um, I have kids now and I look at their little faces and their little eyes and there's no way I'd ever go there again. Yeah. So I know... Yeah. For sure, they say never say never and don't get cocky, but yeah, there's no way. I'm riding bikes, I'm snowboarding, I'm hanging out with cool people. Yeah, you know, sporty people, and um, my job is 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 awesome. I'm like enough to, you know, get paid to do what I love to do, and yeah, and hang out with inspiring people. And I'm very very lucky, and I, I don't take it for granted. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right way to word it, but was drunk Brett Tippy like a happy Brett Tippy or did he change into like a darker Brett Tippy? How did it affect you? Well, no, I was a happy, happy drunk. Yeah. The booze would lead me on to the hard drugs. Yeah. And then, you know, I was still a pretty happy guy yeah. until you're sleep deprived for days on end and then yeah. you're broke and you blew off a bunch of stuff and it's just a downward spiral yeah. of, of hell. Yeah. It's like yeah. being possessed. Yeah. You know, I, uh, 
I didn't want to do it anymore for years, and I, I tried to clean up, and I couldn't. And right, right. It, uh, I thought I broke my brain. I was like, oh my God, Shit. I had a good thing going, and I'm this person now, and I can't seem to stop. Right. And it was, uh, it was very scary. And, uh, Were you scared at the time? Were you thinking, how the hell am I going to get out of this? At some points, yeah. You'd have moments of clarity. Yeah. And then have moments that you just don't, you know, yeah. give a shit, you know? <laughs> Pretty messed up. Yeah. Your, your pleasure center will override your rational center. Yeah. And uh, I was gone to races. I love partying anyways. And I've always... Yeah. Well, I've seen you at some parties this week, and you, you're clearly having a great time on a can of Red Bull. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. all I need is a Red Bull now. And, yeah. You know? A little bit of pasta and away I go. <laughs> <laughs> did, why did you, how did you get through it? What got you on to getting through it, you know? Well, my dad helped a lot. My dad pulled me out of a lot of bad places. Right. And um, I met an amazing woman, uh, Sarah Fenton. Oh, I met her earlier on. Yeah, and Ooh, she helped rock, me out rock. big time. Yeah, yeah. That's the rock? I think we might do that rock roll in a minute. Carry on, and, I like um, the look of that. No, I met this amazing woman who mountain biked and was super smart and funny and, you know, had it together and um, fell in love, and I just didn't want to be that guy anymore. I'd partied for years, and yeah. I overdid it. It wasn't even really partying anymore, just yeah. debauchery. And yeah, um, my my father my father passed away, and uh, I wanted to honor him. You know, he's looking down and looking at everything I did, and yeah, I didn't want my legacy to be you know a drug addict, alcoholic dude, and I, I wanted there's more great things I wanted to do. I wanted to shred. I, I, yeah. I, I missed shredding and uh, there was a whole bunch of factors. Was your dad a, a, was your dad a big, you know, a big inspiration in your life? Or was he, he was, a, yeah. Are, yeah, are, you, he, a, are uh, you another version of that? You know, was he a, oh, was he a funny guy? And... He, was, he was amazing. He was a school teacher, but a musician and an artist. And uh, he'd take me out mountain biking and, well, not, we didn't call it mountain biking, but we went bicycling in the countryside in the 70s. Right. And, you know, we'd go out and he would, like, do sketches there and then turn them into watercolors and sell them for extra money. And oh, he wow. was really very funny dude. Yeah. And had an incredible, incredible database of jokes, limericks, rhymes, okay. uh, random facts. Okay. Like, 20 times my retention. Wow. And uh, he was a very, very loved man. And... Uh, uh, he had a stroke and then a heart attack, so we lost him in 2007. Oh man, I'm sorry. That's, and, that's uh, tough, man. And he's a comedian, so I used to say, you know, it was yeah. the worst thing that ever happened to me. But I was like, that's the worst thing that ever happened to him, <laughs> which he would appreciate. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. But yeah, I was very close to my dad and, and my mom and I were very close still. She's a rock, and yeah. Um, I didn't want to disgrace my family, and I, I was very selfish, partying as hard as I could go, you know, and I. I was writing to see how many days I could go without sleep, and I did 10 days without sleep, and I what? almost died. Man, that's insane, because that can kill you. The, the U.S. Army says the average human will die after 12 days with no sleep. Wow. And um, That's scary. It, it was scary, so... I really like how you clearly know there's been people who've made a massive difference, like you said about your dad, was a huge influence, and... I can really recognize, you know, from what I've been through, like how big an influence people can have on getting you through something. And if they hadn't done that, where would you be? You exactly. Know? I don't know where I'd be. I, I, I might not be alive. Don't rush. Get it set up nice. <laughs> and then give us a shout and we'll be, we'll nail it. <laughs> we're, it... So, we're so not going to nail this. <laughs> I don't no. think this is going to go well. We're going to nail this. This is hard. If we can get up this hill, it'll be amazing. Yeah. Because when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, shit. No way. Hey, it's a big rock. Yeah. It's a big rock. Okay. Right, dude. Okay. Nail it. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. This All is right. a stupid Gotta idea. Get the power going. Right, go on, man. Yeah. Oh, Drop my the gears. God. Look at it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go on, man. Get a That's run it. going. Yes. Yes. Go on. That's it. That's it. Yes, we're online. We're online. We're online. Go on. Go on. No. Oh. No. Oh, so close. <sighs> We just needed to get a little bit further. Yeah, I think we needed like so, super light gear. I think we've got another go in this. Yeah, yeah. But it's a light gear. Now bring the back end up. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more. Whoa. If you can give us a good push off, Brett, I reckon I can get us down there. Okay. Go. That's it. Now don't pedal now. Just let me let me wobble our way down. Okay. I'll just use the gravity. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Nice. There we go. I knew we could get down. Go on. Oh, fuck me, we're moving now. Go, go, go. Like it, like it. Go on, dude. Push it, push it. Oh, no. No. Oh, so close. 
I think push this bit. I'm not going to make that. I think I'm going to push this bit. <laughs> okay, so Brett and Blake are looking at a rock roll they think we might be able to do. And I, I, could, I might be able to do a rock roll, a proper one, with Brett Tippy on the pack, which would be insane. But I can't see it from where I am, so I'm going to have to just trust what Brett thinks. Oh, the situations I get myself in. Go and have a look what they're doing. Wow, that's quite the gnarly line. Imagine going into that hole. No, you would You're not want to endo a, a tandem front bike. wheel into that. Oh yeah, you'd get fly swatted into the yeah. ground. Left, right of the tree. Left yeah, the over tree. the root, yeah. and then uh, Martin can pick a line down here. Hopefully not in the hole. Couple trees over here, Martin. So you know, down there, when, when once we're like going down the rock, so. You want to actually... Like, you know what they say, wood no good. It's never ended. <laughs> going against the grain here. Yeah. Am I needling you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll leave you alone. My bark is worse than my bite. But I'm just going back oh, to my roots. Just going, oh my God, this is like, all to do with wood. Yeah, this is, this so is... So do I go super quick or what? I, I, well, you can go super quick, but uh, I guess I will too, because I'm with you. Good luck. Yeah, oh, thanks, I need it. I need it oh, all. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's all up to Martin, well, so I'm just a passenger here. I don't think so. Oh, I love the nerves I know. before a shoot. I, I love, love it. it, I hate it all at the same time. Oh no, I love it. It's yeah, just that. like uh, such a You know what, I used to get butterflies food. and I couldn't get rid of them in my mind, yeah. so I, I just eventually turned them into dragonflies because I think they're rad, and then I flew them in information. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. We ready, lads? Ready. Let's Ooh. do this. Go for it, dude. All right, buddy. That's Whoa. it. We've got it. Okay. Right, over this roof. Free riding. Oh, yes. And oh, drop it in. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Nice, buddy. That was sick. <laughs> right, let that it roll. That was pretty steep, actually. Let it roll. It was nice. Oh my god, this is oh, cool. Oh, you did it perfect. We've got it. Stay high here, I think. Oh Stay my high. god, this is good. Yeah, we got yeah. it. Got it. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Very nice. Whoa. Free ride, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Nice, man. I want to take the opportunity to say and make let you know that you're someone that has made a lot of people go out on bikes and have an incredible time. And long may your career reign and and impress us and inspire us. And I'm I'm so glad that you're still here doing it. Thanks, it's fantastic. Buddy. You too, fantastic. man. You know, like life is short, and and you've got to grab every moment because you never mm. know when it's going to be over. And it's all you can do is is is, is do what's now in the present, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, they say yesterday is history and tomorrow is a mystery. Today's a gift. That's why they call it the present. Yes. <laughs> Make use of every moment. Absolutely, man. Like Absolutely. right now, we're shredding, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm the same as you. I've done it. I've been able to get back from a very dark place thanks to some amazing people. You know, really great friends and really great family. And I do have those days where you wonder, God, if, what if they hadn't been there to because how would I have done it? Yeah. Because right? I certainly was certainly would never take the credit for it myself. Uh, yeah. Hey, you know what? If life was fair, Elvis would still be alive and all the impersonators would be dead. Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, I tell you what, you've done the random tandem now. You have survived, thank God. But you now get to pick someone else. Like, oh. you have to keep me on my journey. Oh, wow. So, what do you think? Like, who, who could we... Who, who could we put on it? Wow, well, you know what? We, we just saw Paul Bass on our way out here. How about you give Paul Bass a call and see if you can get Paul Bass? He rides an, uh, an e-bike and his, his legs are, are working well enough. I think he could, you know, He's put on. down some landing gear. Paul Bass, you're on the list. Oh, they don't know that, do they? No, Whist not that big. Whistler water. Okay. Egg, shame. That should be a super sub. Do you think someone would like well, nice. Oh. Trail mix? Trail mix. Oh, oh yeah, alright, come on. Done. So we've got our pack lunch. We're gonna have a picnic. Yes. But Mr. Ashton. Yes. I think we need to go find a place to have a picnic. Well, do you know where we're going? Have we got a map or something? No maps, Martin. What? We're going on an epic I don't adventure. Think we should go away with no maps. No, getting lost is the best thing about exploring. Because you'll never see what you want to see. Oh, I don't feel comfortable with this. Don't worry. You're not going to get me lost and eaten by... You know there's bears, right? There yeah. is actually bears. And there's a place called Lost Lake, so we might get... We are going to get lost. Okay. Well, I don't mind. I'm, I'm looking forward to picnic. Let, I'm picnic. Okay. Well, let's... let's pit, pit. Should, should we get the tandem? Let's get the tandem. Let's get do the, it. Get the tandem. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're down in the middle of a forest and we can't get out. We can't get out. 
Wow, that was well though. We're out, we're out, we're out. So, me and Blake thought we'd use a beautiful day here in Whistler to go out on an epic ride. Ep let's get lost. We're gonna get lost. We're going to a place called Lost Lake where there's absolutely tons to see and do. Uh, loads of little mountain bike lines that we can try Ooh. on the random tandem. Should be amazing. And then end up having a picnic. Oh, could it get any better than this? No. Well, here's how it all panned out. Oh, it looks amazing. I really want to see a bear. Yeah, you can hit the sperm. One-handed. Sperm. Whoa. Whoa. I actually nearly fell off. <laughs> Imagine if you fell off. <laughs> um, Trails going it's, everywhere. It's an amazing place. It's amazing. Right then, so we go back up the hill. Yeah. Hit the north shore. And we go do that, yeah. So it's chill. This is like... Yeah, tech trail. Tech trail. Oh, oh nice line. Nice, nice line. Wide. Wide. Oh, 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 that's yes. nice. That's good. I went to get you the small, smooth line. That was not smooth. Well, I'm worried about your feet, man. I'm worried you're going to knock your feet off. Bloody hell, that was some good power there. Right, yeah, my, my we feet, need power again, Martin. Right, power, 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 power. We've got the line on this log. Right, go! Oh, yes! Oh, that was good. Yes! Go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Power, power, power. No, don't, no, don't. Oh, well, feel the front fall down there, then. A little bit. It kind of falls down, then, roots. Go on. Oh, Why right. are you wobbling like that? that? Puts me up. Oh. I saved your life then. No, you didn't. Like nearly tree, killed tree, it. Tree. Cheers. <laughs> I thought I'm going to put my foot down here. No. Feet going down. Do not put your oh, foot down. Oh, your gosh. I nearly put him down. Put yeah. I reckon you should go up there. Back up to that one. Up to the rocks. Yeah. All right. Do it. Do it. I think we're going to go left. All right. Better this. Bit of this, bit of... Whoa! Oh, look at this! That's a cool right. bridge! Mind you pedal on that bit there. Oh my god, it's quite narrow too. <laughs> Whoa! Why are you wobbling? Oh, man, I don't know why I'm <laughs> wobbling, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, it's a oh, really tight turn. Flapping egg. Right. Go, pedal, 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 pedal. Oh my pedal, goodness pedal, me. Pedal, just pedal, yes. Yeah! Yeah! Dude, I'm hungry. Right, I'm ravenous. It's hot. We've done some ace climbing. Yeah. We've done some trials. Yeah. But now I'd like some lunch. So the picnic we got, I think it's time. I think it's I time. I think it's time. Should we go? Let's do it. Yeah. This is a cool line, this. Climbing. Proper climbing. Right, ignore the braking. Go on, go on, go on. Right. Yeah! That is. I'm doing no hands, Mark. No. Yeah. Try and do one of these if we've got any more turns like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No hands. No hands? Yeah. Keep it, keep it in their hands. Oh. Keep it in their hands. Keep it in their hands. Don't put your hands on. No hands. Don't put your hands on. No hands. Don't put your hands on. Keep it in their hands. No hands. High five this guy. High five this guy. High five the guy. High five the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get round here, round here, round there, round there, round there, round there. Through here. Oh, look, there's oh, that look. stop point. That is the perfect spot. Let's have that. That is perfect. Beautiful. So I just smell the sandwich. The thing, so we got the little random tandem in view. Oh, yeah. Lean me against here, like Lean this, me against there. like that. Oh. Oh, my word. This is the dream. 
Look at that view. Look at that view. That's that is view. actually insanely nice. That's insanely nice view. I've got you a super sub. It's got sausage and cheese. Okay. You can't have uh, that. I won't have that if I do, don't mind. I'd, I'd rather have something. I'm only something. joking. What you got? I got you a vegan wrap. Oh, mate. There you go. Thank you very much. And this. melon. We've got loads of food. Ooh. Look what I got for pudding. Those, my friend, are vegan chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> no, they're not. 100% are. Wow. I thought I'd treat you. Oh, look at this. That is amazing. It's it? amazing, isn't Where, it? I'm gonna, I've got loads of choice. Should we that. cycle over there and get lost over there? I, well, we, I thought we were lost until we found all these people, and I guess the people must know where they are. And it's me. I'm ready. That was, that was terrible. It was brilliant. I did a really good job then. Wow. Go on, go on. And, wow, that was mental. Go over there. I'm going up over it. Oh, oh my fuck. <laughs> you know. Go on, keep going. Keep pedaling. Wow, that was mad. I can't believe it when I pulled that rock. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Careful, careful, careful. Oh my God. Oh, go on, keep pedaling. Oh, I'm pushing. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Woman who said come down this trail is insane. Oh Jesus. Jesus Christ. Why? I lost I lost the front, I lost the front. Oh my god. Pin it. Pin it like you've never pinned it. Pin it. Pin it. Pin it. Pin it. Pin it. Oh my goodness me. Oh my word. I'm stopping. That was insane. Oh my goodness me. How the hell did it go up there? How the hell did it go up there? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. That was funny. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we got ourselves in a bit of a predicament. I feel like we're down in the middle of a forest and we can't get out. We can't get out. What are you going to do? Well, we could return and fail the mission or we continue. I think. And really, really get stuck in the bush. It feels like it's going, it's going to start going up and up. That last bit was so hard. Pinocchio's furniture mine. What does that sound like? Logs to me. That sounds like logs. I, don't I think, think we should expect logs, because Pinocchio's wood, isn't he? True. He's a wooden Oh, boy. it could be like roots and stuff. Oh, oh no, we don't, don't even like, know. I don't like roots. I don't like roots either. I don't know if what we're going to be doing. We've never ridden this trail. This sign would suggest if there was danger, and it does not suggest danger to me. It doesn't, no. Should I mean, we... Pinocchio's a Disney film. <laughs> but there's some scaries in Disney. It's horrible, isn't it, when he yeah. goes, turns into a donkey. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Should we try this trail? Oh, that's, oh, it's got wood. If we can manage to get to the wood. Go, go. Mind your pedal strike now, Blake. That's it, go on, go on, go on. Oh, it's go quite, on. you want to go for it, go it for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. I'm going to go wide. Go on, Blake. just keep going for it. Go on, go on, go on. No, no. Oh, Jesus. We're going off there. Oh. How are we going to do that? <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> what the hell are we going to do now? We're stuck. Go. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, I've got you. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> go on. I feel like you're going to drop me down this hill. I'm not. Why would I drop precious... Preciousness? Precious cargo. <laughs> Alright, mind that, Meg. We're on. We're nearly back up on it. No, you want to turn your wheel. Sorry, dude. I'm using my biggest trials left. Ready? Yeah. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> right. Push me forward a little bit. Okay, hold it there. Okay. I'm pushing you that way. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, ready? Steady. Ready, go. One oh, wow. Hang on. <laughs> I thought I would film. I thought I was filming, but I've got, a, I've got. A, anyway, anyway, look we, at that bridge. That's what's us out. It looks. It's not as. It doesn't look anywhere near. As look at it. Basically, it is steep, but it's too narrow for that thing. 
Now, we've got a bit of a mechanical. Uh, really bad. We're in business! We're not surviving. Ah. But we have bent the mech when we dropped off. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Go. Yeah, oh. look at this. Oh, oh, we this? found our way out. We There's a road. I can see a road. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. done it. Oh my goodness me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Martin. Oh, High five. Oh, we're out. I don't think. Most stressful thing. It wasn't actually stressful. It was quite a challenge. I quite enjoyed it. It was like Camel Trophy. Okay, we're working our way out on the fire road. Yeah. We've got a slightly broken bike. Slightly broken bent derailleur. Not gonna lie, it went south quickly. Very. We got pretty stuck on the trail, as you saw. Blake was an absolute machine. I... He got he got us up out of the corner. That bloody corner. Um, fixed the derailleur, got the chain out of the wheel. It was difficult. Um, we were trapped on the trail there for a minute. In the end, we went back down and found a route out that we hadn't seen. We'd gone past. It looked like it got uh, worse up uh, further ahead. Yeah, so I think we'd bitten off a bit more than we can chew. But hey, it's good to know when you've done that. We have, yeah. It's good to know. We're on our way out. We came in trying to get lost and we did. We asked for it. <laughs> we asked for it. We asked for it. Whoa. Turned into an epic ride. It did turn into a bit of an epic one, Mr. Ashton. Okay, right. Well, I tell you what, I think I've had about as much uh, Lost Lake as I can take today. And tandem. Tandem. Although I did see a skate park on the way on in, so you never know. Okay. This was a bad idea. <laughs> Don't miss me! Okay. <laughs> you f <laughs> You absolute nightmare! <laughs> oh no, again! My name is Martin Ashton and I'm a presenter here on GMBN. I'm a wheelchair user day to day, but I still ride mountain bikes, adaptive mountain bikes. And one of my favorite adaptive mountain bikes is the Random Tandem. It's a bike that we came up with a few years ago and it's managed to get me out on the trails with some brilliant friends. And in 2024, I'm hoping to ride that bike some more. So just before the year's out, let's get out and have a bit of a ride on it once again. We're back on the tandem. We're back. We're back on Big Orange. Big Orange. Bingers. 2024 is the comeback year of the tandem. It is indeed. I feel like we could improve it, don't you? I think we can. Change the colour, change a bit, a few things. Bit of tech anyway. Yeah, Steve Jones is in these woods. We'll get his advice and we'll go warp speed. It's been amazing actually, Bingers. You think about it. We've got some memories on this bike. Oh, haven't we just, Martin? Remember the time with Danny? You are you shaking because you're cold or because you're scared? Scared? <laughs> no, it's just gone cold. I'm just cold. <laughs> oh my God! That, that was amazing. That was good. In yeah. Scotland? Oh, incredible. Yeah. And I'll tell you what else was at Rob Warner. This is crazy. Dude! Just, oh my God. Just chill a bit. Just right. chill a bit, dude. Dude, dude stay on. Stay on. Mate, oh, just I, take it easy, will you? I'm, I'm taking it easy. <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah. Can't beat by Park Wales, to be honest. That's a good place. <laughs> um, and I tell you, we've had some crazy moments. Oh, I don't how I remember Whistler. What's your scariest moment on it, Whistler? <laughs> My scariest precise moment was right racing A line, Mark. Look at that. Break down here. Break, 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 break. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Oh no. Oh. Whoa! Holy f Oh my hey. god. Yeah, that's coming back to me now. We're not going up there, are we? We're going up there, Mark. Or up there? No, left. Uh, this way. <laughs> I like how you can steer it a little bit. Right, straight this up. This is really straight hard, this bit. <laughs> this is the Which? easiest gear I've got. Is it? Yeah, oh they've changed god. the sprocket. The rear cassette. Oh my god. We're killing Blake. <laughs> Go on, Bingers. Go on, Matt, we'll have a little stop at this, shall we? Really 
first trail. What's it called? Countdown. countdown. Let's go right round. Let's right round. Up. We have a little break there. Time for the final countdown. I don't know the rest. <laughs> I think we can get away with that, copyright-wise, because oh. it went right. Right, you ready to do countdown? Yeah. Blue, moderate. It's actually pretty fun. Moderate. <gasps> Mine, nothing who's that? Who's this, that? Nothing on this bike for this one. It's Steve Jones! It's Steve, we found you, Steve! Uh. <laughs> what is in you here? I know! <laughs> we thought you were here. <laughs> right, Mark, let's get something clear. I want to get something very clear, right? There's... There's one good reason I'd get on that bike with you. Because it's sick. And three reasons I would not. Oh, that's not it's, good ratio. Uh, right. The one good reason is it's sick. You're a pretty amazing rider. The three bad reasons are combined weight of <laughs> 160 kilos. Right? Yeah. And what's supporting that? These. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> the second reason is you've got 200 millimeter rotors on there. Yeah, is that good? For 160 kilos, probably not. And the third reason. <laughs> Three reasons. The third reason is your mental. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually the third one's actually true. Yeah, that's a fair <laughs> point. Yeah. yeah. Breaks you up. Instagram said so. Right, you ready? Ready? Because the e bike's going to turn off in a minute. Ready, Steve? Yep. Pretty much. Let's go. Drop Have in. <laughs> Flat out, flat out. Speed is our friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how quick it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are going Ooh. flat out through here. <laughs> Look at this. Right, let me just get this straight. This ain't slow. What are they doing? Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you win then. Oh, oh yes, here we go. Look. Watch out, this corner's not very good. Step down. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. One footed. <laughs> Big stick coming up. Oh, my god. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> You're crying. Her foot fell off then. <laughs> How far? Um, did you see his foot fall off? No! Did it you went bang! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that step right. down. <laughs> like, foot. <laughs> Should we do an adventure? He can go up through there, along the top, That's drop in on the fire. That's a bad road. idea. No, oh, yeah. Yet another not bad there. idea. No, okay. come on. Come, come on, on. No, you're not going to do that. Come on, Steve. Come, come on, on. No, you guys, you know, wait. You can't just do the check out first. No, you can't just do that. Go, 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 go. No, guys. No, they actually are meant to. Go, 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 go. Oh, what? No! Yeah! You can't just do that! You can! This is the random oh, bike! It's not tandem. in the script! There's no there's no right or wrong or no right or script! Reason. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 let's go up! Let's go up! Oh, no! Go up no, it's too much! won't make it! My legs won't make it! He won't! Mark. I found three reasons earlier. Yeah. We left it at your mental. I've got another fourth reasons why not to get on this bike. <laughs> uh, these guys have literally just freestyled it up a bit of single track. And do you know why I wouldn't get on that bike? What is that? Blake's got insanely strong legs. And yes. also, <laughs> one way to upgrade this bike, I think, is having a bigger cassette on the back. Well, that's what it does need right now. Yeah, do you think? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's got like a 42. You could go up to like a 48.50, right, Blake? Yeah, 100%. It's got a 1 by 11 on the back. If it wasn't for these, Look at those! <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest, Steve, right? <laughs> having Blake on the back is like having an RTL 360 on the back. It's like... <laughs> just... <laughs> it's serious grip, grunt. Grip serious well. grunt. Mm. Yeah, we got, we got new tyres. Let's do it again, Bing. You wanna do Let's it again? Let's do it again, yeah. Go on, Steve. Fast, 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 f
It shouldn't be jumping. I didn't know we were going to be jumping. But it's a properly yeah. groany moment. Ooh. Oh, 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 no. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. Oh, no. Oh, my We thought we'd pull a bit of a prank on Steve, so Blake jumped off the back and we saw what Steve would do. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are <laughs> Man, I really badly behaved. I so misbehaved. Honestly, that naughty. Really like a naughty child. What is he doing? No! <laughs> I lost him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa. Martin's wife, that is. I've got to go find him. See you there. Oh my god. <laughs> you, <laughs> you absolute nightmare. <laughs> you absolute nightmare. <laughs> what are you playing at? <laughs> What are you f playing at? Oh, red hair, <laughs> Robin, the red hair's reindeer. What are you doing? That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but what about if I hadn't followed you? I'd have fallen down there. <laughs> Why don't you expect me without telling me to do that? Yeah, but you wouldn't have done it if I told you. Have you, free, have you actually freestyled like that solo before? No, it's the first time I've lost my the passenger. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you <laughs> absolute. <laughs> I can't believe you just done that. I can I actually cannot believe you just done that. That's brilliant. If, if you'd have told me you'd have done that then, I'd have refused to be take part in that. Blake, Martin, yeah. Thanks for that. Good, isn't it? I'm done. You're not coming what? on. <laughs> Steve! He's going. I'm done. Car Steve. It's like that was so not funny. <laughs> oh. I think so that backfired on us. Do you think that backfired on us? Steve. Hey, let me get your handkerchief. No. Steve, you, I'll get the coffees if you get on the back. I'm out of here. <laughs> Cake? Blake! No, I'm here. Steve! <laughs> what did I just do? No, I, I have genuinely out. I'm out now. What? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I still heard that. I'm, uh, no, I'm here, yeah, Martin. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> he went. He went, Blake! And I went, I'm right here, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. Mm, we've made an enemy there. On his birthday as well. On his birthday. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> I guess we'll probably have to go and meet him and buy him that coffee. That's the only uh, thing we can do to anyway, win him over. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Hey, have a nice Christmas day tomorrow. Ooh, yes. Yes, and uh, Bingers, thanks. It was oh, just it's been so good to resurrect this funny. thing. Um, look out for more random tandem in 2024. We'll see you on the other side. See ya. <laughs>